Hi, good morning. I am making my first cup of coffee of the day. Look at this cup. This is me. I got it from Wild Florida and I absolutely love it. But anyway, so I'm making my coffee. Um, I wanted to show you what I put in it. I put one scoop of this Orgain Collagen Peptides. Um, it's good. I mean, everything in it is good. You can see all of the little nail, um, the information there. I was reading that word nail. <laughs> And then here is the ingredients, collagen peptides, bovine, grass-fed. Um, serving size is two scoops, but I just put one in my coffee every day. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I do have a discount code down below. I think it's 30% off, pretty good. Um, and you can get it on subscription also, but you can also get it at grocery stores too. But I think it might be a little bit more. So you just kind of got to weigh your options. Sometimes it's more, but shipping you gotta wait for shipping so you know that kind of thing i also put in some half and half and then these are the sweet drops that i use i love these and yeah so having my morning coffee and getting to work all right so it is 10 11 in the morning and i'm all of a sudden just starving my stomach is growling i'm gonna have one of these cheese sticks um, these are the ones that I get from Aldi. They're called Simply Nature. They're organic. There's eight in a pack. And here is the information. I think they're like three something each. The, I mean, the package is like $3 and change. Because it's organic, you can definitely get a different one. Um, but there are zero carbs in it. And here are the ingredients. So yeah, not a bad little snack here. I love string cheese. It's a great... Um, zero carb snack and I try to go with the zero carb um, the total carbohydrates is what I go by so yeah that's my first little bite of food today hey everyone it is lunch time here and if you didn't catch on this is the uh, weekly what I eat in a day video that I'm making um, I made chili yesterday on my meal prep day it was Sunday yesterday and I got the idea when I saw Paula from Low Carb Revelation make her chili dogs the other day, I was like, that looks so good. I personally love chili dogs. And I remembered I have just about everything I needed in my freezer for my chili. So I'm like, let me go ahead. If you saw my grocery haul, I really wanted to kind of use up what we have because it was like a non-payday week. You know how those are. And so... I made my chili yesterday and my chili has hot dogs in it. Um, I did film a little bit of that, so I will insert that clip next. You can see how I make my chili. Um, and then uh, I'll show you what I top it with too. But thanks Paula for the little inspiration there. I haven't made her chili yet. Have you guys let me know if you have. She's got an e-cookbook too, and I haven't got that yet either. I'm gonna have to get that soon too, because you guys know I love my cookbooks. So um, I'm gonna warm up my chili. Now you can sit and watch um, how I make mine, and I'll have it kind of listed down below what I do. It's very simple, very easy. Um, I do it in the crock pot. Um, but then after that, I'll show you what it looks like after I warm it all up and top it and everything. Okay, so if you watched my grocery haul, I let you guys know that I'm going to be making, I'm having chili all day this week, either, not all day, but you know, as one of my meals, it'll either be lunch or dinner this week, pretty much every day. And um, I already had a bunch of the stuff in my freezer. I was trying to use it up. And so I thought I would share it with you real quick. Um, today's Sunday and I'm making this, but you're seeing this on my meal prep video but I'll at least put all the ingredients down below that I put in mine. Um, I, you need a pound of ground pork, a pound of ground beef, and you can mix and match this. You could do it any way you want. You could do everything ground pork or everything ground beef. You could do ground turkey, you could do ground chicken. It is totally up to you. That's what I love about recipes. Make it your own. Um, one can of tomato paste, two cans of Rotel or store made Rotel, I got this from Aldi. You need a pound of bacon. However, I only had a little bit left over from something else I made Andy. I'm making some bacon wrapped hot dogs in the air fryer. 
for him for this week. And this was a little bit left. I don't feel like defrosting another pack. This will do, it's okay. Um, a green bell pepper, I usually put, it depends on the size of the bell pepper. This is a smaller one, so I think I might put the whole thing in. And then a half of a white onion. Um, I'll probably only put a half of it. Cooked onions are not my favorite, but in this, I do love it. Um, last but not least, this is something that I've recently added. I'll put a pack of hot dogs in it. Any hot dogs you want, but I do love these. These are very clean. Um, they're low carb too, actually zero total carbs and just very clean too. This is grass fed beef as well. And they're beef hot dogs. Um, I like to chop these up and put them in. I, let me know down below are you a bean chili person or not it seems like you either are or you aren't there's no in between i am i love beans in my chili and i know this sounds really weird but this just kind of replaces that in a way gives you that and you got zero carbs so you have to cook the bacon and the ground whatever ground meat that you're using you want to cook that first and basically you're just dumping it in your crock pot I like to use the crock pot because I like that all day feel, you know, like it cooking all day. You could probably do it in your instant pot too. Um, I haven't tried that yet, but like I said, it's Sunday. I kind of like that feel of having the crock pot going. So I'm going to cook everything up and then I'll show you dumping it all in together. All right, so you saw how I made it. I forgot to show you what it looked like afterwards in the crock pot, which it just, it's so much better that first day, I think, anyway. Sometimes stuff is really good a couple of days later, but I forgot to show you, so I'm sorry. I just got carried away with cleaning up and stuff, but here is um, how I make it. And it's, this is a nice little container to put it in if you work outside of the home, because you can put like all your toppings over here. Um, Maybe in a baggie or something, though, because you do need to warm this up. And I don't think you want warmed sour cream. But maybe you do. I'm not judging. Um, but I've got my chili here. I put some cheese on it, some jalapeno slices, because I like a little kick. And then my sour cream on top. And I can't even tell you, I have the biggest smile on my face right now. This could possibly be my only meal of the day, though. Who knows? I'm not even sure if... I'm gonna work out yet or not, so stay tuned. I'm just not sure, but this is what's for lunch today. Hey guys, so I am back. It is, um, work is over for the day. Thank the Lord. <laughs> and I have decided that I'm gonna do a lighter workout today. Um, how is everyone doing on your like fitness challenge for June? And let me know like what you're doing down below. As you guys know, we're doing the, oh, let me show you. We're doing the walk a mile a day challenge. And we have missed, we're on day 12. Today's the 12th. And we've actually missed two days. And sometimes it's just because you're just tired by the end of the day. Sometimes it's just that you live in Florida and it rains every single afternoon. Um, we did get rained on at one point, one time, and it was funny because I made Andy, I'm like, let's go, let's go. And he's like, if we get rained on, I'm gonna be mad. And we got rained on. <laughs> but he wasn't mad, <laughs> it was just funny. Um, but we've also been using like the days that we've been out doing stuff, like when we went to Wild Florida and walked around that park all day, I counted that. When we went to the RV show, I counted that. When we do our yard work, I count that because we are sweating. We're out there doing stuff that we normally don't do on a regular basis. So we have missed two days and oh well, you know what I mean? I did at the beginning of this day that we would at least do it six days a week. Shaking up my pre-workout. So that's exactly how it's been going. So, um, 
walking to me is just an added addition just with Andy. I don't get much out of it. So I still want to do a workout here and there. And I'm listening to my body because it feels like it's a little bit tired. I have really been working it hard. I have, I've been doing some heavy duty workouts. So we have like an elliptical <coughs> outside. And to me, that's very boring, but I'm going to put like my, I don't know my iPad on my phone out there and watch something and just do for like 20 minutes. Um, and it's hot out there, so I'll get a good sweat in. But I'm going to, I'm um, getting my pre-workout ready. This is from Redmond. It's the Relight Pre-Workout Peach Mango. Increases energy, improves performance, and promotes focus. And as funny as that sounds, this is actually very true. I feel increased energy when I'm doing it, and it proves my, my performance. It's really weird. Um, but in a good way, but you just want to make sure that you don't overdo things either. That's the thing. So, um, I'm feeling like my lower back has been a little bit tender, but again, it's kind of that it's been around that time for, for me this, <laughs> this past week. So sometimes that plays an effect, but I'm going to take this and then I'm going to change and maybe I'll show you a little bit of that on the elliptical. I don't, I don't know, it's a bike and an elliptical. It's kind of, you know, you choose what you want to do. And I don't know what I want to do yet. <sighs> I don't know, because I will be walking later too, but let's get going. All right, so here's that little elliptical type thing that we've got here, and it's really cool. It's got like a drink holder there. This is how long it's been since we've used it. I don't even turn it on or anything. I just go off of my watch, but let's get going. All right, well, I just got done with my workout and I ended up doing 30 minutes on the elliptical. And it was so funny because I put the iPad up there and had the camera going, I had to shut the camera off because my iPad was dead. And it definitely helps to have something sitting there that you can watch. I just restarted Grey's Anatomy again because I don't know, I like it. Um, but I got a good workout. You can see how sweaty it is. It's just because I'm hot. My heart rate didn't get really high up there but um, I sweat a lot because it's Florida and it's hot outside. It's probably 90s. Um, but I feel good because I didn't do too much. And I also did my three minute plank. Um, Andy has decided that he's going to do the elliptical instead of walk today too. So we're definitely get some movement in. I'm so excited about that. Um, now I gotta empty the dishwasher. All right, this is what's for dinner tonight. I ended up being hungry after my workout. Um, I have my Egg Life wraps that I have stuck in the air fryer for just probably about five minutes. And um, they make these, they get a little bit more like, not crunchy, but you can form them a little bit better. Um, and then I'm using my last box of my favorite Aldi um, wild caught shrimp fajita mix. I love this stuff. And this is two servings, but I'm eating the whole thing. Um, but here is the macros on it too. So I'm having a total of eight carbs that includes their seasonings. And I have just put, um, cheese, sour cream, and a little bit of jalapenos on there. So yeah, I'm excited. And then I'm having in my, look at that. I haven't used that in a while. My mission keto tumbler that my planner friend Vanessa made me, um, I'm having a LaCroix lemon. So yeah, that's what's for dinner tonight.